Y'all have probably heard it all. There's a big old hurricane coming for Texas. There's a big old hurricane coming for Los Angeles, California. Which one of these statements are true? Are any of them true? What's actually happening out there in the tropics? We're going to go over in this forecast what the environment is around these storms and what are the actual likelihoods of these things impacting the United States, the current probability of these things even forming in the first place. Because let's be honest. Yes, there's a lot of experts out there. There's a whole a lot of people with meteorology degrees but unfortunately we also have a lot of crazy so let's cut right through all the bull and get straight to the facts first we're going to be going over the probabilities of these storms even forming first off we've got this tropical wave just to the south of the cape verde off of the west part of the african coast here and this one right here has a 40 percent chance of forming over the next seven days that means over the next seven days there's a 40 percent probability of this one forming pretty self-explanatory the next one we have is this one this tropical wave is sitting in the middle of the Atlantic and it has a 50% chance of forming that means a 50% chance over the next seven days now we have this little wave off of the coast of Florida this one only has a 20% chance of forming and that is if it makes it into the Gulf of Mexico at all not all models are pointing to that so there's definitely not a 100% probability that this one is going to form and gonna hit the United States as much as people that want to lie to you would like to tell you so yeah everything in the Atlantic right now is not really too much of a threat to the United States if that storm over there near Florida does come into the Gulf of Mexico it'll likely remain weak as the shear environment really isn't that great for these storms although there is record amounts of heat in the Gulf of Mexico I personally do not believe this wave is gonna be the one that's gonna be able to tap into that and be able to grow into anything really more than a flood threat maybe we'll get a tropical depression out of this but again it's just too early to tell that this storm hasn't even formed yet so let's wait for that to happen before we even really start to take this thing seriously all right now moving on to the pacific ocean where we have tropical storm hillary now this storm is going to start off weak but it's going to build up in strength as the sheer environment is quite favorable there's warm enough waters for this thing to sustain itself and in fact it could even get to major hurricane strength this is going to go up the baja peninsula level where it really goes on to this becomes really uncertain now if this thing goes into the Baja Peninsula it'll weaken quite substantially and mainly become a flood threat for the California Arizona and Nevada area maybe even parts of New Mexico as well but if it, there is about a 5% chance right now that this thing will make it into California as a tropical storm now this is pretty rare and I really don't think it's a very likely probability right now but it's definitely something that we're kind of gonna have to watch and monitor as this thing moves up towards the west coast right now we're pretty far out with the model so there's a little bit uncertainty but at this point we're confident that it is going to track up to the north and where it goes after that is really up in the air but yeah that's it for me on the tropical update just a quick little note we do have two marginal risks coming up for portion of the united states for michigan indiana and ohio tomorrow and the next day rhode island connecticut massachusetts new hampshire and maine primary threat for these are going to be small chances for hail and damaging winds for both of these days so it's going to be a hit or miss for a lot of people in those regions but there is a chance for severe thunderstorms so make sure that you are weather aware if you live in the ohio valley or new england but yeah that's it for me thank you for watching and everybody have a good rest of your day hit that like and subscribe button it really does help out the channel and i'll see you guys on the next video